Yo, what's going on everyone? It is Super here and I'm bringing you guys another Q&A video. Not going to waste any time. So let's get right into the questions. Let's get started here with Flash. And he asks, what is your favorite video ever on your channel? And that is a really hard question to answer Flash because I have put out a lot of videos that I'm extremely proud of. Uh, but I would say the my favorite video is uh, the first Man of Steel montage that I made um, because uh, it's, it, I don't know, man, it's just really, really cool. Uh, you know, the edit is amazing, uh, the clips, you know, I put a lot of hard work into that montage. Obviously, Peng, uh, who edited the montage, put a lot of work into it, and it completely blew up. It did extremely well, um, you know, the first year and even the second year. Like, I uploaded Man of Steel 2 the next year, and Man of Steel 1, who that was already like a year old, got more views in the same year that I uploaded Man of Steel 2, even though it was a year older, which is really crazy. So, you know, it just shows you that um, if you upload, a, maybe not anymore, because sadly, montages don't do nearly as well as they deserve. A lot of montages that I've seen deserve a lot more views than they have and stuff and more attention. Um, so that was definitely one of the last, uh, you know, big montages that got a lot of views, at least for me. Of course, I uploaded Man of Steel 2, which did, uh, it did pretty well. And then, uh, you know, Brotherhood 4 did not as what I expected. Uh, but, you know, that's just how the time goes, I guess. But Man of Steel 1 is, uh, you know, definitely the probably the proudest video that uh, I've ever been a part of. And, um, you know, my favorite video on my channel so moving on to passion pistol he asks is there going to be another brotherhood and yeah we are going to do brotherhood 5 um it might be the last brotherhood that we do i'm not really sure i guess it all depends how good black ops 3 is because if it's really good you know even if the next call duty after that isn't as good we could always come back to black ops 3 or stay on black ops 3 i should say if it is that good you know if it's like black ops 2 where everyone loves it and it lasts for you know two to three years then that'll be really good uh we'll be able to make brotherhood 5 and possibly more but right now the plan is to just make brotherhood 5 and then uh you know see what happens after that um i don't know if we're gonna do brotherhood 5 before our solo montages or if we're gonna do solo montages and then brotherhood 5 we're gonna have to wait and see what happens when black ops 3 comes out but yeah we're gonna make at least one more so look forward to that. Um, uh, DMB ask if there will be a diamond camo for Black Ops 3, will you do a road to diamond? And I'm not really sure. I might do that, but I also have to do, oh, I don't have to, but I also want to do a road to commander series, which is, uh, you know, pretty much record every single game that you play from level one to max level of a certain prestige. I've done that for every single Call of Duty except for advanced warfare because i did not like it i didn't have a good time recording it i actually did try to record it i just you know didn't have a good time recording it so uh, i want to try to record a road to commander for uh black ops 3 because it's the ultimate old school series man and i really really love the road to commanders uh you know it's a pretty much uh uh, blame truth started back in 2007 or 2008 uh that got his channel really popular so it's like the ultimate old school series that i will always love so i'll try to do that when black ops 3 comes out uh next up here is tribal and he has nuketown from black ops 1 or nuketown 2025 and i would say uh black ops 1 nuketown is uh better for me um i don't know it's just a classic man it's it's the original nuketown you can't beat the original and the last question for today is by butter and he asks would you be a billionaire and never be happy or and and always be depressed or have little money barely survive but be happy and that is a deep fucking question that is impossible for me to answer in a couple of seconds that I have left on this video. But I would probably say I would rather be happy and not have as much money as others um, because nothing beats like just being a happy person. And, you know, just being happy in general is a, it's an amazing thing, uh, you know, so money can't buy that. So that's going to be my short answer. I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A video and I'll see you guys next time.